I'm really proud of uh, the work that the team has done on uh, the uh, Bell's Cottage and um, the, uh, the the fairy tales with Bell. It's because it's not just um, a chance to see um, a princess. It's actually a chance to be a part of the Beauty and the Beast story, and so it it broadens the appeal of that experience. It makes it much more interactive. It makes, makes it much more personal. And uh, this takes storytelling to a new level, and I think that's great. Similarly, uh, the uh, Be Our Guest restaurant in the Beast's Castle is um, dining in this immersive environment, so it's like you're there at the castle having dinner, and right down to the gray stuff, which I hope you tried it. It's delicious. <laughs> uh, but, the, uh, but, you know, that's what... That's what our guests really tell us they enjoy, being immersed in those stories, losing themselves in those stories. And um, so, you know, those two are really... Well, you, you hint at uh, what uh, you, you've uh, told us before in interviews, and I, and I, th- I guess it's sort of an a, a emerging theme at Disney, which is, uh, you know, people, kind of customers want uh, a choice to be able to sort of personalize an experience, to be interactive and... And uh, and to some degree, uh, you're using technology to do this at the, as part of Fantasyland. Is that can you give me a little more sense of what you're kind of overall? I think you'd likened it before to uh, on-demand TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, so just to be clear, uh, our parks since Walt opened Disneyland in 1955 have been parks that people personalize their experience around. In other words. They choose what they want. It's not a linear experience. It's an it's a experience that people decide what to do when and how and in and, and what order, et cetera. But to your point and to the point we've made previously, the, with new technology, um, we've got greater capabilities to immerse people in story. And so you saw some of that if you went through and visited Belle in her cottage. Um, you, you, you can see it in uh, the Be Our Guest restaurant. As another example, where the um, it's, it's we we know through the interactive um, kiosk ordering stations, you know where guests are, what table they're at. The food can come out sort of magically and appear. Um, the uh, uh, in, in the um, Little Mermaid queue, where we've got in the queue line, um, it's not so much waiting as playing a game as you go through and interact with the crabs who can see you and recognize what you're doing and respond to what you're doing. That's obviously technology that wasn't there um, uh, when Walt was first envisioning the park. But we can be sure based on his legacy that he would have embraced them and, and leveraged the technologies to the greatest extent possible.